Hello viewers, welcome to Beyond Borders. India assumed the presidency of G20 in December 2022 and is busy hosting meetings after meetings as a part of it. The leaders level summit will be held in Delhi next month. As the host nation, India ensures that it leaves no stone unturned for this momentous opportunity. But now, China is playing spoil sport during India's G20 presidency. It has raised objections to the theme of Vasudeva Kudumbagam and asked that official documents and letters don't carry it. Let's examine this language row and why China is unhappy about the G20 theme. Before India assumed the presidency of G20 in December last year, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had announced that India's theme would be grounded in Vasudeva Kudumbagam. The theme is drawn from the ancient Sanskrit text of Maha Upanishad. It affirms the value of all life, human, animals, plant and microorganisms and their interconnectedness on the planet Earth and in the wider universe. The G20 logo draws inspiration from the vibrant colors of India's national flag and the Earth in the logo reflects India's pro-planet approach to life, one in perfect harmony with nature. In fact, the theme of India's G20 presidency conveys a powerful message which is of striving for just and equitable growth for all in the world. Though the theme and logo were unveiled by the Prime Minister on November 8th last year, China has voiced its opposition to the phrase and its use in the official documents recently. China opposed using the word Vasudeva Kudumbagam in the official G20 documents during the last month's G20 Energy Ministerial meeting. The argument put forward by China is that the phrase is a Sanskrit word that is not one of the six official languages recognized by the United Nations. Due to this, the final G20 document, Outcome Document and Chair's Summary for Energy Transition only carried the English translation of the concept of Vasudeva Kudumbagam. But it is retained in the logo and letterhead of each document. And it is not just the energy meeting document that has dropped the Sanskrit phrase. A majority of the outcome documents, including the finance minister's meeting, the education minister's meeting, the tourism and environment, all mention One Earth, One Family, One Future as the India's presidency theme in the official text, skipping the phrase Vasudeva Kudumbagam. China's opposition to the phrase continued even though other participating nations supported India. And some countries even observed that deciding the theme is the prerogative of the presidency and the host nation. Unsurprisingly, this is not the first time Beijing has raised opposition during India's G20 presidency. In May, China opposed India holding its G20 tourism working group meeting in Kashmir. Beijing even skipped the meeting held from 22nd to 24th May, citing its opposition to holding any kind of G20 meeting in a disputed territory. But New Delhi remained firm on the issue, saying that it is free to hold the meeting on its own territory. However, the Ministry of External Affairs is yet to comment on the language issue officially. Hope this video is informative. For more details about G20 Forum, click on the above link. Thank you and keep watching.